Hey everybody, this is Jerry. Welcome back to the Auto Layout video tutorial series. In this tutorial, you'll learn a little about how the layout system works, how to animate changes to constraints, and which other animation methods you should and shouldn't use together with Auto Layout. When the system is doing a layout pass, it first calls update constraints on each view. You can override this method to create constraints on your UI view subclass, but in most cases you don't need to. You can just create constraints in line with the rest of your logic where it makes the most sense. Then the system calls layout subviews on each view. This typically does the work of calculating the size and position of the view based on the constraints. Then display or draw rect is called to render the view to the screen. If you want to tell the system that something has changed that requires any of these steps to be done again, you can use set needs update constraints, set needs layout, or set needs display. This just sets a flag so that on the next render pass, the update constraints, layout subviews, or display method will be called again. Because this happens on the next render pass, if you want to immediately recalculate the constraints, layout, or display, rather than calling the methods directly, you use update constraints if needed, layout if needed, or display if needed. Of these, you'll typically only use layout if needed. If you just changed a constraint and you want the layout to update to match the new constraint, you'll use layout if needed to cause that layout to happen. Before we take a closer look at using layout if needed, there are a couple of methods you can use at the view controller level to participate in the layout system. These are useful if you don't already have a UI view subclass to override methods in, but you want to override the constraint or layout behavior. If you make changes to constraints and don't call layout if needed, the system will update the layout on the next render pass. But, especially as it relates to animating constraint changes, there are a couple of situations where we don't want to wait for the next render pass to update the layout. The first is before we animate the changes. If we're making several changes to the layout, but we only want to animate some of them, first we make the changes we don't want to animate and call layout if needed. This causes the layout to synchronously update and reflect the changed constraints. Then we make the changes we want to animate and call layout if needed inside an animation block. Remember, for constraints that have already been installed, you can only change the constant, but you can activate and deactivate constraints too before calling layout if needed. Just 15 more steps and we're done. Just kidding, that's it, that's all you have to do. The views impacted by the changed constraints will update to their new layout and it will all be nicely animated. You should know, whether you're animating your auto layout changes or not, that UI view transforms do not play nicely with auto layout. Also, if you're using UIKit Dynamics, you should let the UI Dynamic Animator control your views, not auto layout. But if you're using UI motion effects, like the parallax effect when you tilt your device, you can use those together with auto layout. Let's return once again to our dating app and add some animation. So we have our project the way that we left it. And if you remember these buttons, when you tap them, they disappear and the other buttons expand to fill up the space. Let's build and run and just take a look at where it's at now. If I tap one of these buttons and it disappears, notice the other buttons jump into place. They don't animate at all just immediately re relay out to the new position. We want to add some animation there. So let's go look at the code for this button tap. And it's really just as simple as this. Adding in an animation block and in the animation block we'll just call layout if needed. Alright, let's try that. Now when I tap the button, the other buttons will animate into place. And really that's all there is to it. Auto Layout handles all the animation for you, calculating the new layout of the views and animating into those positions when you call Layout If Needed inside an animation block. Well, that's it for this video tutorial. For more on animations, check out our iOS Animation by Tutorials book. And as always, we'd like to leave you with a challenge. For this challenge, you'll return one more time to this app, but you'll animate the change to the image when it grows or shrinks. All the details are in the challenge document. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.